You've heard many legislative experts analyze the moves and counter, move, counter moves of the Democrats and Republicans negotiating an infrastructure bill this year. But there is another perspective that might explain what you're seeing better than any of us who have worked in Congress. Our next guest tweeted this. I used to rig card games for a living. I'd watch people sit down and lose everything again and again. But they didn't lose because they played by the rules and we didn't. They lost because it wasn't a game. It just looked like one. Democrats think it's a game. Derek Delgadio went from the life-threatening work of rigging big stakes card games to taking his sleight of hand skills with cards and awe-inspiring magic to a hit one-man show off Broadway that took audiences on an illuminating and deeply emotional journey that left most of them in tears. The show in and of itself began with each member of the audience picking a card before they took their seats, not a playing card, a card that identified how they see themselves. People need something to call you. So you search. You look at the roles the world offers you, trying to find the one that reflects who you are. Later in the show, Derek Delgadio then guesses exactly which identity each member of the audience chose. And when Derek Delgadio looks into their eyes and tells them who they are, it is a profoundly intimate and moving moment. And explore. And a good Samaritan. And a vegan, an alchemist. An independent, a maker. And a good time. <laughs> if I'm right so far, you may be seated. A visionary. You can watch Bill Gates' reaction when Derek Delgadio correctly tells him how he sees himself in the film version of In and of Itself, brilliantly directed by Frank Oz and available now on Hulu. And joining us now, the writer, creator, performer of the profoundly wonderful work of art in and of itself, Derek Delgadio. Derek, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. I, I want to go to that tweet of yours, uh, which is actually a couple of years old now, where you say <laughs> that Democrats' mistake is that they think they are in a game and Republicans don't think that at all. Uh, yeah, I uh, is just an observation that I made based on my experience working as what's known as a bust out dealer in my 20s. I was hired to uh, use my skills to decide the narrative for the evening. And uh, I sat there and uh, watched as people interacted with what they thought was a game. But it was actually the simulation of a game. And it was making it uh, look as close to a game as possible is what made it successful. And I just noticed some of the parallels between that and our current democratic process. Yeah, that and it's it's really clarified it for me is that it does look exactly like the the game, the legitimate game that I used to be in when I worked in the Senate of negotiating, trying to negotiate bipartisan deals. But you discover as you watch Republicans do this that no, 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 they never meant it. They were never going to be there at the end in a, in a real deal. Uh, I want to go to what we just saw, uh, because I saw your show at the Little theater in L.A. where uh, years ago, where the first time I saw it, saw it at least twice uh, in New York off Broadway, saw it again this weekend. I watched the film version yet again. So that's maybe two or three times watching the film version. 
And I cried once again uh, at the end and at other points in it because it, and, and, uh, you know what, I can't finish the sentence because, and that's what I want you to help me with. I'm not sure what is happening uh, to those people when you are looking at them and telling them who they are. What, why is that such a deeply emotional point? Uh, well, unfortunately, I think it's, it's fairly simple in that we don't see each other. And, and what we know about one another and what we think we know about each other gets in the way of what really is. And I think the simple act of recognizing someone and their humanity and who they are um, is a gift in this day and age. And the fact that it affected people so, so deeply is a testament to how, uh, how, how that doesn't really happen often enough. It, we're watching an amazing magic trick because you do this with every single member of the audience, and that is some kind of amazing magic trick. And that has its own awe when you see something truly great like that, that it's inexplicable. Uh, but this this goes beyond that into this deeply personal moment. And they you, you can see one thing you can see in the film that you couldn't see in the theater was kind of up close reactions uh, that, that you were able to see uh, of each of these audience members when this happens. And it's come at the end of a of an hour and a half uh, on a road that they never knew where they were going. Uh, and it turns out it was about them. Yeah, that's uh, basically the, the unspoken secret of, of the entire show is that it's not about me. It's actually about you. It's about everyone. And I use my own personal narrative and stories um, as a proxy to allow people to enter the ideas and and hopefully uh, find their own way into it. And by the end of it, uh, I pull back the curtain and reveal what it's been about the whole time, which is which is all of us. It, it has the most amazing things I've ever seen on a stage that are, that are, that are called magic, uh, and it has so much drama and it has so much uh, personal narrative of your own in there. How would you describe it? What is you? It, 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 there's no phrase, the quick phrase that I'm that, that I've thought of that describes your show. Uh, it's a uh, theatrical existential crisis. OK, <laughs> yes, uh, that uh, that gets closer to it than anything else with amazing magic tricks uh, and moving uh, narrative and a, a, a kind of audience interaction that I've never seen. Well, yeah, they, uh, they're the other half of the experience. It, it's not something I could have done on my own. Uh, certainly, uh, it, they, they help tell the story, and, and, um, and they're, they're a significant part of it, and it wouldn't exist without them.